Okay. Hi, YouTube. This video is a couple things. It's about my summer vacation. Yes. Summer vacation. Yay. Kids are out on summer vacation. I was about to say spring break, but no. It is summer vacation. Um, so all the kids are home at camp, the beach, wherever they may be. I'm just hoping that they're ha all having a great time. Um, it's about my exercise. Um, it's about nail polish. And it's about my love with the roots. Um, anyway, um, so this morning I got up with the intentions of going out to the lake to work out. Um, I was going to walk running at the lake, but it was raining when I got up here this morning. So I didn't go out. I actually stayed. It wasn't like a sprinkle. It was a downpour. So I stayed in and worked out. So I have the Xbox Connect. And I got this game with it called Your Shape. Excuse me. Your Shape Fitness Evolved 2012. Seriously? Sorry. That's one of my coworkers calling. So. I'm just going to ignore Elmo right now because I am not recording this video over again. Anyway, so I ended up doing the fitness um, Evolve Yourself 2012. I ended up doing that one um, for like 45 minutes. There's a... No, I didn't do this one. Sorry. I got this game with my Xbox. Um, so I was going to do this one, but I was like, no, nah, I really don't want to do this video. I wanted to do something else. So... And that flash you're seeing behind me, my television's on the living room. I broke out this game called Connect Adventures, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed this game period. It, these Both of these games came with my Xbox when I purchased it um, back in March, maybe. Yeah, February, March. It was a birthday gift to myself. Anyway, there's a game on here called raging rafts or raging waters or something like that anyway it's a great game and it's actually this one right here on the front um it, it's like that you stand in a raft and you have to duck and dodge and all that kind of stuff um great game and then they have like a dodgeball game in there which really spoke to me because i played on a dodgeball league for many years um so um so between those two games and Just Dance 3, I will be alternating during my entire summer, summer vacation along with running and walking outside because I do enjoy running and walking. Um, I'm, I want to get to the point where I can run the entire two and a half miles at the lake. Um, and normally when I go to the lake, I always do it like two to three times around to get, you know, a considerable amount of mileage. Um, because just one time around is two and a half miles. Okay. So then this morning also I said, oh, I'm going to go to Target and I'm going to pick up a couple of things for my nails. In the summertime, I like to change my nail polish every single day, whether it be one or two colors, five or six different colors. I like to change my nail polish every day. If you can see, I did this just a little while ago. It's, it's hideous. I got to redo it, especially that purple. I got to redo it. Um, and my thumb is like a pink. This hand is nothing. I actually took the clear off of it just a little bit ago. Our little girl that I babysat on Saturday, she painted my nails with a Hello Kitty clear glittery color on Saturday night. So anyway, so I just took that off and I just put this on, but I'm actually going to take this off and do something different. Um, I was just piddling around. My best friend called, so I was just playing around with some colors. And because um, this color here on my pinky is this color and it's Sally Hansen am I saying yeah Hansen um hard to tell and then on the and I'm not sticking my middle finger right at you but on this finger is this color and it's called limestone by Sally Hansen and then the purple which is not dark enough for me right now because I have to put a couple cuts on it is this one and it's called Rock Bottom by Sally Hansen. And then on my thumb, hmm, it's somewhere. It's not hot pink. Is this it? No, that's a silver. Oh, I love this color too by Sally Hansen. Love that color. Anyway, and I got all those polishes from Walmart for a dollar and ninety-two cents. 
with a dollar ninety two. Anyway, I'm gonna be changing those colors up anyway. The white and the green I'll probably stick with, but I'll probably add in like a turquoise blue. Probably this blue by um Pure Ice or this blue by NYC. I'll probably switch up to that. I don't know yet. It depends on what hits me, the mood. So those are oh and I went to Target as well. I went to Target to pick up some nail stuff like I was saying. And Target, sorry, but they disappointed me this morning. But I went to get some of those um, cuticle sticks. Target had like four in a package for 89 cents, which is perfectly fine, but I was looking to get more than just four. Um, also, they didn't have any cuticle oil this morning, so I'm going to have to end up hitting my local beauty supply store, which I'll do that tomorrow because I'm done for today until it's time for me to go do my side hustle, um, which will be later today. Um, and I need to get a nap in. Love naps. Love naps. Love my roots. And nail polish. Um, so anyway, so um, those are the things I had to do. Oh, and a little pet peeve of mine. When you have a day off, okay, it's your choice to tell people that you have the day off or not. Everybody knows that I work for all of my friends, my families, acquaintances, associates, whatever. They all know I work for the school system here in my state. They also know that when summertime comes, guess who's off for like, what, 89 to 100 days? Me. Just because I am off does not mean that I want to run your errands for you. Does not mean I want to bring you lunch. Does not mean I want to go sit at your house and wait for the cable guy. Does not mean I want to watch your children at the pool. Unless I'm getting paid. Sorry. Nieces and nephews, that's different. Helping out a friend, that's fine. But just to be doing it because you know I'm off? No. Don't call me first thing in the morning talking about what you're doing. Have fun sleep. Or I'm pretending to be sleep. Or I'm doing whatever I feel like I want to do. Don't call me first thing in the morning talking about what are you doing. Don't call me around your lunch break to say, don't you want to bring me lunch? Because let me think about it. No. I don't call you when I know you're off. I don't bother you and ask you to run errands for me. I don't ask you to watch my children because I don't have any. Even if I did, unless it was a dire emergency, I wouldn't ask you to watch them. I'm not asking you to bring me anything at work. Oh, I forgot my feminine products. Can you bring me some? No. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. Don't, if you know somebody is off work, don't call them just because you have to go to work at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Don't call them just to say, what are you doing? That's rude. That is not okay. That person has deserved that time off. Let them enjoy it. Just because you're not off, don't be a hater. Let them have their time and let them enjoy it. Now, I have friends and I have family whom I love very dearly. I have a friend right now who's going through something. So every time I turn around, the indicator on my phone is constantly going off because she wants to email me all day and let me know the latest involved, the latest developments. I care, but I don't care. And I know that sounds so bad, but at eight o'clock in the morning, trying to send me a text or an email or a BBM or a a DM from Twitter or a Facebook message or whatever to let me know the latest developments in your ongoing saga? No, it's not the move. And people say, oh, well, turn your phone off. I will not turn my phone off because I have family who may need me for an emergency. Emergency. But to tell me the latest developments of what's going on with you and your tawdry love affair? No. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because see, what's going to make you mad is when I know that you have to be to work at 7 o'clock and I decide, oh, I'm not working. I'm up at 4. I'm going to call you. And I'm going to text you. And I'm going to tweet you. And I'm going to BBM you. And I'm going to Facebook message you. Because I know that all those indicators will go off on your phone. And I know that you have those lovely ringtones. So I'm going to do it at 4 o'clock in the morning to wake you up, which will not make you happy, but it will teach you a lesson that if you don't like to be woken up at 4 o'clock in the morning, guess what? 
I may not like to be woken up at 7.30, 8 o'clock on a day that I'm off. So the next time you decide that you want to text, tweet, Facebook, BBM, iMessage, whatever, think twice. Be considerate of the other person and their timing. Everything that's going on in your life is not a drop dead life or death situation. Some things can wait until a more decent hour to contact someone, especially when they're off. I could be on vacation visiting other family members or just laying out on the beach somewhere. But I have to stop my world because you want to let me know what's going on in your tawdry little love affair. I really don't care. Sorry, I know this may sound like I'm being insensitive, but I'm just being honest. I'm not going to call you at the drop of a dime to let you know everything that's going on with me. And I don't think you should do it to me. Just how I feel. So, just thought I'd let you know. And I know some of y'all are like, I don't do that. Well, you might not. To me, anyway. You might do it to somebody else. This is all I'm basically saying is just think about it before you pick up that phone on your day that you're at work. You may think, oh, well, I know Sarah said she was off today. Let me call her and see what she's doing. Sarah is doing exactly what Sarah wants to do. Whether it is sitting on her couch and picking her butt. It's what Sarah wants to do. Leave Sarah alone. Go to your office meeting, your office party, your office lunch, and whatever it is that you got to do. You go do that and leave Sarah alone. Let her do what she wants to do. That's all I'm saying. Be considerate. Anywho, back to this lovely hair of mine. Now that I've gotten off my rant. I, um, oh, there's a hair show coming up this weekend in my state. And I'm planning on going. I thought my best friend was going to go, but I just spoke with her a little while ago. And she's not going to go. That's perfectly fine. I'm going. Um, so I'm excited about that. I get to see some people that I met in Atlanta. And I also get to, be, to meet some people here that, um, you know, I talk with either via Twitter or I talk with via Facebook or I just know them personally. We're all going to go to the hair show. So um, I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully I will either take footage while I'm there or I'll do a video before I go or after I go. Either one. I'll do something on that day. It's actually on Saturday. And today is just Monday. So, anywho, this this video has already gotten into the 12-minute mark, which I was trying to keep it under 10. But I got on that little tirade. So, anywho, um, excuse me. Have a great day. Whatever you do, make it a good one. And, um, oh, and thank you for the two people who gave me comments. Dang it, I can't remember their names. But anyway, they were very cool comments. I did reply back. And I like to know that other people watch my videos. And it's so stinking cute that you made comments. I'm so in love with that. Anyway, have a great one. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.